good day welcome to tfi if you've subbed just for the inventor tips and tricks videos then obviously this is not one of those videos this is a periodic channel update kind of video that i do now and again uh title is tfi is now on plural site so i'm going to explain what that means what that is and how it can benefit you so if you do just like the tips and tricks then this is actually kind of related and it will help you even though it's not a tip and trick video itself but if you don't care just fine that's absolutely fine honestly genuinely absolutely fine so the title is tfi is now on plural site now what does that mean you might be sat there going mate i don't even know what plural site is well trust me 12 months ago i was thinking the same thing until uh, about july or august last year a, a plural site rep approached me and said hey kind of look like you know what you're doing and i was like oh shucks thanks and she said what do you think about becoming a training author on plural site we're a massive e-learning training company and we're trying to break into kind of the engineering CAD training sector. Uh, and we need some authors to come on board and do some training courses. And I was like, uh, do I really have time? Is it going to complicate things with YouTube? I've never heard he is. Is this even real? I don't know. I don't know. As it turned out, I mean, that was a year ago. As it's turned out, it's one of the best things I've ever done. I agreed to do it. I took a punt with it. And as it's turned out, they are, they are equipped with some of the most skilled industry leading specialists doing training courses on the website. I don't really know if I count myself in that category, but they've got like some absolute stars on their site delivering training courses for pretty much anything IT related from like programming, server side stuff, web design, video editing, anything really tech related. They've got a high, and we're not talking about somebody who can bullshit their way into becoming a trainer. These are industry specialists, established, experienced, industry-leading specialists doing training courses on their site. And, and when you're watching their, their training stuff, you know that this is, it's like top draw. It's top draw stuff. So over the last year, I've done so far two training courses on Inventor on Pluralsight. Now you might be thinking to yourself, two? Really two? Is that it? Well, that's the thing. They are so strict and so regimented on the structure of their courses, on how they're put together, on how they are segmented and eclipsed into modules, audio levels, visual quality, uh, the, 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 the fonts you use, the imagery you use, the slides you use, everything has to be to an absolute strict standard. Every single thing you do. There can't be too much silence, there can't be too much of nothing going on on screen. You can't you know there is a massive team of people to make sure that their training content is absolutely top draw and that's why it takes so long to do a course so i did my first course which i think i wrapped up january this year i think ish around about that time and that was a course on inventor visualization and graphics title something around along those lines and that was my first kind of pass at doing a course on Pluralsight, getting used to all their, their rules, their legislation, their, their their restrictions in some ways on what you can and can't do. It's because my style on YouTube is, I read a comment, someone says, how, how do I do this? And I go, have I got time to do that? Yeah, okay, and then turn on the screen record and I just do it. I say what I want, show what I want, and I just upload it with a bit of editing, tiny bit of editing, that's it. Totally different game over there. It's got to be extremely strict and structured. So it's taken me a long time to get used to their process, but I did my first course. My second course, I did and finished about five weeks ago. That was a course on Autodesk Inventor File Management. That was everything you need to know about Inventor's file management, projects, design assistant, uh, task scheduler, uh, pack and go, projects, a bit on vaults, everything, everything, relationships, how relationships are built, managed, replacing files, replacing components, that kind of stuff. That was my second course. That was kind of keeping the momentum going, brushing up, make sure I remembered how to do the courses on Pluralsight. And I'm now at my third course, which is going to be a vault course. And now I think I'm comfortable in now mentioning it on my channel. Notice I've not really said anything at all over the last year on Pluralsight. I've been working actually, my knack is off over the last year on this stuff, uh, but I've not really mentioned it because I didn't think there was enough of it on Pluralsight really to say I'm on it based on that. Hey, here, here's a, you know, go over, check it out. But now I've done two courses and I'm on my third. I think I'm ready to now say to everyone, I am on Pluralsight. If you want to see more from me, if you want to see actual, full, structured, organized, proper training material, almost like classroom environment quality training material, 
head on over to Plural Sight. My courses are on there along with a whole bunch of other people. Doing inventor courses on Plural Sight is not just me, they also have other industry leaders in the engineering world and the mechanical design world doing training courses on inventor. You've got other people doing courses on things like surface design, uh, freeform modeling. Bill of Material Management, uh, you've got a lot of Fusion 360 courses over there now, they've got a lot of SolidWorks courses over there. Uh, Plural Site took over a site called Digital Tutors and they've inherited a lot of old engineering uh, training, training material from Digital Tutors which they're hosting on Plural Site. Uh, but as time goes by, they obviously need to refresh those courses and get new material up on there. So it's not just me doing it, they've got a whole bunch of extremely talented people doing inventor courses, doing all kinds of 3D CAD courses. As well as that, I want to learn more about computer programming, about how to write code, how to be better at video editing, how to web design. Game design is something that I really, really want to get, get, get into and learn more about, how to do VR, that kind of thing. All that stuff, it's there, it's ready. And when you're watching their training courses, you can just tell immediately from watching them that the person, A, knows exactly what they're doing and they know exactly what they're talking about, but B, the courses are very well thought out very well planned. After every course you've got a questionnaire that you can answer to make sure that you've understood the content. Uh, all the metadata is all programmed into the training course so you've got clip titles, module titles, it's all it's all lined up like almost better than YouTube obviously it's all you know uh, arranged in structure so that the next clip that automatically plays is obviously the next clip in the course that kind of goes without saying. If you are interested and genuinely I cannot emphasize enough how amazing this site is. It is just full of knowledge is jam-packed with knowledge and these guys they are the best of the best when it comes to online e-learning yes you do have other websites uh, but Pluralsight specifically pride themselves on being focused at the corporate level not not necessarily at the consumer level they go straight in at the corporate level so their training courses kind of represent that as well because I said this was sort of self-promotion it might be a bit of an ad I don't know I've got a referral link if you do want to head on over and check out Pluralsight and just sign up for a free trial perhaps it's for free free trial you can you can finish training courses in your free trial period if you want to I've put some referral links in the description of this video so if you click one of those links that'll take you on over to the page where you can sign up for a free trial and then after that you'll be given the option if you want to of uh, signing up for a full subscription which personally I think is more than worth it and just to put things into perspective in fact this this is the way I put it to to one of my friends that works as a training manager in a, in, in the resale actually the card supplier that I used to work for for Pluralsight I don't know what the exact figure is but let's just say it was $299 a year for a, an entire year's subscription to Pluralsight my old card supplier were charging £900 per day to send me to a company to train them on Inventor for a four day course. That is a lot of money, my discounts and whatever else there might be on that, but the day rate might differ. But for $299, just say for example if that was the price, you've got an entire year of unlimited training from me and from other people who are just as if not possibly more skilled at their craft than I am. For $299 a year, it's an absolute winning deal and it just it puts things into perspective when you consider the day rate that you'd pay for if you went to your CAD supplier for training. It's crazy the way uh, e-learning, online training is going and what kind of benefits that can bring. The only real challenge is yourself, it's just finding the time to do it. I'm no different to you guys, I find it difficult to find the time but they have their stop and start feature where if you pause a training course the next time you head to the website it'll resume from where you left off. But you can figure all that out, head on over, sign up for a free trial, just poke around the main page if you want to and take a look at what they've got. It's absolutely brilliant. I could not recommend them enough. I know everybody's gonna say this, but I, I hate advertising. I, I do not bullshit people. I, I've rejected so many sponsors. I've had people want to advertise barbecue subscription grill boxes on my CAD channel before, because who wants to advertise food on a tech channel? Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I do not like all this advertising bullshit, all the patter that comes along with it. I will only do this, and I mean this, from this point onwards, if my channel ever gets to any kind of size where adverts become a thing or sponsorships become a thing, I will never ever bullshit anybody when it comes to advertising because I, I cannot stand being bullshit. All this brought to you by and this wasn't made, you know, this video wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for this random piece of hardware or this company. Loads of money in the bank, but I couldn't have done this without the help of this sponsor. Bullshit. It's all bullshit. I, I will never do that ever. So when I do these things, I hope people can understand that I absolutely mean them to say this that goes for plural site they are legit and i'm on there Whee! anyway guys thank you very much for listening like i said if you do want to head on over for a free trial my referral link is in the description 
of this video, by all means go and check that out. Uh, that will not affect, uh, it's, I've been doing it for a year, it will not affect, has not affected anything that I've done on YouTube. I will continue to make courses on there and it will continue to not affect anything that I've done here on YouTube. As long as, uh, I think the deal was, as long as what I'm doing here doesn't devalue what I do over there, then we're fine. As long as I'm not essentially doing the same videos, then we're fine. YouTube's always been quick, short, vid short, <laughs> short-ish videos. Whereas Pluralsight is long form structured classroom style environment training. Anyway guys, thank you very much. Hopefully I'll see you over there. And you won't regret it, you won't regret it. It's brilliant. I'll see you next one. Toodles!